Hi everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson. So today I'm going to share something really, really exciting with you. And I know we don't like talking about going through tests or trials or tribulations or anything like that, but I'm going to share with you three benefits of tests. And this is what the Lord actually told me about tests. And I'm going to share with you what he said. There are three benefits to it in this video. Okay, so the first benefit, whenever you are tested or I am tested, the first benefit that we can actually receive from this test is we can be proved. And basically what that means is we are proving ourselves to God. The second thing is we overcome the enemy when we pass a test. The third way, the third benefit of a test, of us passing them, of course, is to grow spiritually so the benefits of tests when a test comes in your life um, if you pass that test there's three benefits to you passing that test of course proving yourself to God um, overcoming the enemy and growing spiritually so what I'm going to do I'm going to share with you um, just some things that the Lord actually was telling me about um, what it looks like when you pass a test and what actually happens um, you know on in the spiritual side of things okay so we know the enemy does not desire for us to pass any tests um, he wants to see us fail he wants to see us sin every time something comes up a test or uh, trials tribulations he wants us to fall he wants us to sin you know he wants us to give up he wants us to stumble so um, you know that's basically his desire for us to not pass it. But we get uh, rewarded when we pass tests. So I'm going to uh, share with you with what the Lord told me about some of the rewards. Uh, like we said, be improved. Like what, what, what you do um, when you pass a test, you're proving yourself to God. And this is what the Lord said about proving. Um, when you prove yourself to God what you're doing you're showing him you're proving to him that you are faithful in that area you are faithful in that situation and so here's a, an example like let's say if you are um, tested like let's say in an area of honesty and let's say if you're in a situation where something bad can happen you can lose your job you know if you're not honest about something that you saw, uh, I mean, if you're honest about something you saw, maybe you saw the boss doing something and you knew if you told the truth, then you can possibly lose your job. You can be fired for being honest. And so, you, you know, you, you re really value your relationship with God and you want to walk in honesty everywhere you go. So you take that chance, you step out there and you just be, you know, you're honest about the situation and, you know, um, what that is doing, you're proving to the Lord in that area that you are faithful to be honest in situations. And so you're proving yourself in that area. Okay. And then um, what the Lord says is that he sees you as being faithful in that area, basically. You know, God sees us. I have it here. God sees us as being faithful when we pass tests we can be faithful in one or two or more areas and then we may not be faithful in um you know some areas so but this is uh, another example of being you know uh, being faithful in an area would be like i have a list of things here fornication just so we can kind of see let's say if you have decided that you want to save yourself from marriage because you want to do things the right way um, and you don't want to fornicate but you every time you find yourself in the situation with your boyfriend or your girlfriend and something happens a test comes a, a te you know something comes that uh, you can either say no and stick with your plans and trying to honor God in that relationship or you can fall or you can do the opposite or you can um, go with your flesh your desires and you find yourself in that situation and you find yourself falling and then the next day you're repenting you're feeling so bad um, so what's happening there 
is first of all the first reward the benefit of passing the test you didn't do it in that area so you didn't prove um, to God in that area that you're faithful uh, with uh, uh, keeping your body pure and not fornicating um, when you get in those type of situations so you you didn't prove that you were faithful in that type of situation and then the second thing is you didn't overcome the enemy um, the enemy overcame you he came in and you know and you failed you failed the test you went along with your desires and um, you were weak and so you so that you know you didn't overcome the enemy and then the next thing is you didn't grow spiritually in that area and so what the Lord was telling me like when um, whenever you pass these tests you know you grow spiritually and the area that you grow spiritually is in this situation when it comes to fornication and not falling and um, uh, doing that you would have grown in patience and self-control because you would have exercised it you know and you would have got more of that you would have grew in that area in the area of being honest you know with the person that you know was honest about her job you know she would have got more honesty that's that's what she would have received that spiritually she would have grew in more honesty she would have been able to be more honest in other situations that you know she came in contact with and in your situation that you failed let's say with the fornication if you failed in that situation you would have not grown in patience or self-control you wouldn't gotten no growth from that because you didn't pass that test you failed so this is a cool thing because um, knowing this that these three benefits every time you pass these tests you're proven to God that you're faithful in that area you know and plus you're overcoming the enemy who doesn't want to overcome the enemy the enemy is rooting for you to fall you know he doesn't want to see you uh, please God or uh, be faithful to God so of course you know you overcome the enemy that's great and then the great you know another great thing is that you grow spiritually you know you grow spiritually and that's another great reward uh, when it comes to you know your walk with God so when we look at different situations in the Bible uh, Abraham when he was tested he had a pretty big test you know um, you know uh, one of the tests was with his son and sacrificing his son and see that was him proving to God that he was faithful you know that's that that was his thing Abraham was faithful in all things you know what I mean and so he proved that to God and so his when he passed his test he proved that to God he overcame the enemy you know I'm pretty sure the enemy was trying to make him you know uh, probably want to turn his back on God and and um, and do all of this negative stuff against God and um, and to love on his son more than he loved God and and to not um, you know sacrifice his son for God I know the enemy you know probably was communicating with him and trying to get him to go the other way and you know he didn't pay no attention he overcame the enemy and he grew uh, spiritually he grew in more faith you know he's actually known as the father of faith you know in the Bible so he grew spiritually in that area because he was faithful to God and we'll just talk about one other person in the Bible that um actually he didn't he didn't pass the test he didn't pass the test and um, he kind of you know stumbled and fell but uh, Peter um, the Lord Jesus even warned him about that you know there is a test that's coming and the enemy wants to sift you the enemy wants you and um, you know and the test was him denying Jesus and of course you know at the moment he you know he was like no I would never do that I would never do that and a lot of times we feel like you know we would never do that to the Lord we will be faithful if we're in a, uh, a situation to to uh, fornicate or we will be honest if we are in a situation where it's you know we're gonna lose our job you know if we are honest you know we may want to to be honest and may want to not fornicate but when we get in those situations you know it, that's the truth that's what's really gonna happen are we gonna be faithful but Peter in his situation he didn't want to deny the Lord um, he, he said he would die with him but when he was put in that situation to deny the Lord he failed that test and you know that was a hard thing for him to experience you know the pain and 
um, you know, the condemnation um, of failing that test. But he bounced back. You know, he, he repented. He got himself to back, back together. And he became, you know, um, one of the, the uh, great apostles. And so the thing about it is that you can fail these tests. But then you can come back and you can still grow in those areas because you're going to have other situations that's going to come and, um, you know, and that you get the opportunity to still grow. So I just wanted to share this with you and I hope you guys, um, you know, uh, see tests as an opportunity for you to prove yourself to the Lord that you are faithful in that area. It's an opportunity to overcome the enemy, which we definitely want to do. We don't want the enemy overcoming us. We want to overcome him. And then there's an opportunity for you to grow spiritually in that area. Okay? So just understand there are benefits to being tested. And there are great benefits. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next teaching. I'm going to do a few teachings today. So I'll see you in the next teaching. God bless.